Hey guys, Shamer right through the Summer Maxi Bring episode 88 of Let's Play the Bonnie Rising Afterbirth. In the last episode, I believe we had a um several runs of the Guardian Challenge, but we uh we eventually got there, we eventually managed to complete the challenge. This time I think we're gonna be doing a little run with Zazel here. Hard mode, because I noticed that we haven't even beaten the um the dark room with him yet. So we'll give that a go. Maybe go for Mega Satan? Hopefully, because I'd kind of like to do a Mega Satan run where we actually get the unlocks. Because, uh, I've only done, like, one Mega Satan run, and it was it was pre-Afterbirth, so it didn't actually count for much of anything. So, uh, let's just jump right into it here. Uh, okay, so, uh, right off the bat, I, you might notice I sound a little bit different. Um, uh, well, actually, first off, sorry, it's been a while, again, since recording, uh, busy with school and all. I got accepted into, uh, my college of choice, I actually just found out, actually got a uh, presidential scholarship, which is, um, it basically cuts my tuition in half, so it's all, it's all very exciting, but, uh, yeah, I've been busy with a lot of stuff like that lately, but, um, I'm now officially on Christmas break, so I should be, hopefully at least for the next, uh, next, like, two weeks or so, you'll be seeing plenty of content from me, uh, not only on YouTube, but also on, uh, my Twitch channel as well, I'm hoping at least, but, um, yeah, you might notice that I sound sound a little bit different than uh, than I have uh, the entire rest of my uh, my career. Um, I finally uh, got around to getting a um, relatively high quality mic. It actually wasn't as expensive as I was expecting, but I got the um, the Blue Yeti. I, I think it's just like the standard Blue Yeti. Like I think that's it's the entire name. I thought Blue Yeti was a uh, was the entire brand, but Yeti is the brand. It's the blue blue mic. I think not the not the Snowball, uh, just the regular um, regular Yeti. And, uh, yeah, I just haven't gotten a chance to, to use it in a while. I used it in a bit of a Magic and Metal recording that we're, we're going back to that series for a bit here. But, um, cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so if, I, I should certainly sound different, hopefully better. <laughs> I, I hope, uh, but, yeah, I'm still configuring, like, uh, sound levels and stuff. I was messing around with the, um, uh, what is it, the OBS uh, noise gate thing, but I couldn't get it to a point where I was happy with it, where, like, it cut out background noise and didn't cut out my voice sometimes, which is the main problem I had with my other mic, is that, like, um, my headset mic, is that it would just, like, randomly, um, cut out, like, even, like, mid while I was talking, probably because I don't really talk that loud, and kind of, like, in lower pitches generally, but, um, oh, shit, that's fine. But, um, yeah, so I couldn't really get that to, I was testing that out, like, right before the Magic Metal recording, and I couldn't, I was just testing it out quickly before that, and I couldn't get it to a point where I liked it, so, um, you're probably gonna, until I get that sorted out, you're gonna be most likely hearing large amounts of, um, of noise from my, like, uh, controller, uh, keyboard, and mouse, mostly. Um, ooh, small rock, very nice. So, um, I do apologize for that, that's the only, so far the only complaint I have with the mic, and the only thing I think that's really worth complaining about is that it is very, very sensitive. Um, but yeah, that's all, that's all something that I'm, oh jeez, that I'm trying to work on. Uh, uh, yeah, so. Two spades. I'll just go ahead and use that now, sure. <coughs> so, um, yeah, other than that, I hope it, hope it sounds very nice. I'll have to do a lot of more testing with the, uh, the noise gate I'll have to, uh, this certainly changes a lot, oh, dang, dang it, this changes how I record quite a bit, because normally I've just been used to having a headset mic so I can just, like, be wherever I want to, and it still picks me up just fine, but now I'm kind of, uh, I'll go for the boss here, uh, no, it's pink haunt, oh, jeez, um, now I'm trying to get into the habit of, like, staying, because obviously it's a, it's a desk mic, so, I kind of have to be close to it, okay, that's not bad with, uh, new Azazel. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to just get in the habit of, of just staying sitting upright, because normally I, like, lounge back in my chair and stuff, and then you guys hear the, the chair creaking, which I don't even want to think about how loud that would be with this mic. So, yeah, it just kind of, it changes some things, but hopefully in the long run it's going to change things for the better. I might look into getting a stand, because, uh, I do just have the thing just slapped on my desk right now, you know, where the computer, uh, where the keyboard and stuff actually are, so... Not exactly ideal for um for trying to cancel out noises from the things. Um, oh hey, you should come blow this thing up, buddy boy. Uh, there we go. 
Okay, sure. I have five keys. I'll fight. Alright, couple bombs. I was... I think that was worth it, considering how many keys I have. Um... So yeah, I think that was... That was everything I wanted to talk about there. Uh... Explode this floor fully. I think so. Okay. Uh... Oh, hey, Penny. Uh, yeah, I'll take down these fires. Drive. Because I've been doing so much talking, I've been, uh... Playing a little bit more sloppy. But, uh... That's okay. Should still be able to manage. I'm playing this as Azel. I don't know if I've talked about the changes that they made to his Azel in Afterbirth. Um, there are a couple, like, changes that they made, like, that they reversed, because at some point, like, they nerfed him, like, almost entirely. Like, um, yeah, it was really bad, but then they, they put him back. I think they, like, halved his fire rate-ish, but maybe increased his damage. I know he fires a lot slower than he used to, but I personally don't even really notice it that much, to be honest, because, uh, I guess I hadn't played as Azel in, uh, in quite some time before Afterbirth came out, so I didn't really notice when they uh, when they changed it. Might as well go ahead and use this. But um, yeah, he I think he does more damage, but he definitely fires more slowly. But I think those are the only those are the only major changes that they made to him. Uh, basically nerfed him a bit because I mean he always has been the best character, and I'd still say that he is the best character, like the easiest character for um, people who are new to the game especially but uh, they just made them a little bit more uh, more balanced I think they, they've been doing a lot of balancing patches actually uh, as of late uh, yeah sure no reason not to pick it up really and I'm going to check this as well what does the two do I think this might just be like a d20 for this room or something um, yeah that's not that great at all um, yeah, I'm gonna go and use this a bit more. But, um, yeah, they've been actually buffing some of the old space items that have been really bad. Like, they buffed Shoop to Whoop, so it now does, I think, four times your tier damage. So it's actually potentially worth taking Crack in the Sky, which is a notoriously bad item. Now, um, does more damage, and it, I believe, is more likely to target onto enemies in the room. Like, it doesn't always, by any means, but, uh, they've just making, been making a lot of improvements. To, uh, to old items, and also nerfing some items. I don't know if I discussed the uh, the stopwatch nerf, but um, the stopwatch now only procs when you take damage. It then is active for that whole room, so it's still definitely a really good item, but it's not completely broken like it was before. And uh, the broken stopwatch does the same thing as it did before. So uh, you can now take both of them, and it's not the, de the broken stopwatch doesn't become a dead item when you pick it up. Um, also, yeah, I'm going to be taking both of these for sure. Definitely both worth, uh, worth picking up. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to go in here yet. Uh, that's fine. Oh, jeez. Yeah, actually, I, as I was talking about with the Zazer before, I actually have not played as him in quite a while, so, uh, I'm still not entirely used to going back to the whole, uh, getting real close to enemies in Delio. But, uh, I'm starting to get back into the swing of things. It also, as per usual, it has been a while since I've, uh, even recorded any, any Afterbirth here. But, um, yeah, beyond that, uh, there's one other thing I want to talk about, and, ooh, flashlight. Hmm. That could actually, I'm gonna think on that. With Azazel, I feel like that could actually be a very worthwhile pickup, because, uh, you do have to get very close to things. So, by using that, when I have to get close to enemies, um, they'll be slower and less likely to, you know, hit me. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a very, very considerable pickup there. Um, and the only other thing, I was hoping to wait until there was a bit more information on this to uh, really talk about it, but um, Afterbirth Plus is going to be a thing. Uh, I believe slated for a 2016 release, probably somewhat early 2016, I would think, just as like a, like more of a guess than anything, because uh, they're not adding a ton, but basically it's like, uh, can I do this? Is that going to work? Dang it. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Um... I'm also going to go ahead and pick this up and... I that should have changed that heart up there to something else. Or, actually, no, I think that was a D20 just for that room, like I said earlier. So, didn't actually do me any good. Um, You know, I want it, but I also just realized that I really need to work on this donation machine. So, I'm just going to see if I can actually get this up to 600, because I believe that'll unlock me a new item. Come on. Yes! Store upgrade. Excellent. I believe that's the last store upgrade, actually. So, okay, cool, cool. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, Afterbirth Plus is going to be a an expansion to Afterbirth, for lack of a better term. I think it's going to require Afterbirth to get, I would imagine. But um, I don't have the, the his um, the blog open that Tyrone wrote about it on uh, on the Rebirth blog. I don't have that open right now. But um, basically, it's going to be adding uh, some more. Not a ton, obviously, not as much as Afterbirth. But uh, it's going to be adding. Uh, more items, I believe some more bosses, more transformations. Um, some of the more significant things that I do remember is adding, though, is one is adding a bestiary, which I think is something that this game really has. Like, this, I feel like, is a really good game th to have a bestiary, so I'm I'm glad that they're finally adding a, um, a bestiary. Of course, it's only going to, like, fill in when you, when you find enemies, and it's going to, like, track stats, like how many times you've killed them, how many times they've killed you, uh, stuff like that, a lot of... Um, neat uh, statistics like that which are always fun in in themselves but um yeah so that that i'm i'm pretty excited for to be honest i've, I've just always been a fan of b series it just adds more um because i was always been somewhat of a completionist in games so i always like things like that that add um oh shit i've been using the nail whoops um yeah i've always liked things like that that add additional uh incentives to the game but um also the other and i'd say this is probably the biggest thing that they're adding in Afterbirth Plus, easily, is a, ooh, that's nice, is a modding, like, very, very intrinsic modding support into the game. Um, then it's now, I believe Afterbirth Plus is, I don't have this item unlocked yet, I'll talk about that after I'm done talking about Afterbirth Plus, but, um, um, yeah, they're adding, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna add, like, a, uh, a room editor, it's gonna add character, I believe character editors, um, it's gonna add, uh, some sort of programming language that you can, that you can write code in so you can, like, make your own stuff in the game, it's, it looks pretty insane, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna talk about all this more when more information has been released, but, um, basically, basically they're making it good, they're gonna make it very easy for people even to just casually mod the game, like, if they want to just make, make some minor changes, you'll be able to, like, change, like, what items do, I think, which is stuff that, even in the past, like, actual Rebirth mods, like, fully legit mods have been, I believe, had a hard time doing some of the stuff that, ouch, that this is going to make it easier to do. So, it's, it's very exciting. It's, um, I'm pretty excited for it, even though I've never been into the modding scene in, uh, in Rebirth. Not yet, at least, but actually, this whole thing has made me look into some of the really cool mods that are out for this game. And, uh, yeah, it definitely makes me want to, want to check some of that stuff out. Uh, broken mic, that's not worth it. But, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah. basically after plus, it's probably only gonna be like a couple bucks, I would imagine. And, uh... I'm sure there's a lot of people who are like, Oh, jeez, another DLC already? Like, a small DLC for this game? But, um... I'm pretty much excited for anything that adds more content to this game. I absolutely love this game. I'm just gonna keep donating in this run, actually, I think. Uh -huh. Keep five coins for my arcade. And, um... But yeah, it's it's something that I'm I'm personally very excited about. So, yeah, I will I will definitely fill you guys in with with uh, more info on that as it is uh, being released. Uh, the only news we've had on it was from a couple weeks ago. So, it also was for the I actually meant to do uh, a video video coverage of this, but for the um, as I'm sure a lot of you know, Satori Iwata uh, passed away. I think it was several months ago. Actually, I haven't I don't quite remember. But, um, on his birthday, they actually had a, a custom, um, daily, daily run, a daily special. Uh, I think it was the first daily special that they had done, where you actually played as him, and all of the item pools were replaced with, like, Nintendo items, so it was, like, the, you started with the game kit, and you had, like, um, all the item pools were, like, mushrooms, you had, like, the Trinity Shield, and, uh, and, uh, stuff from, like, Legend of Zelda, they had the Friend Ball from the reference to Pokemon, and it was really cool, actually, and I believe that, um, that blog update was actually released on that day, because I remember that was the, um, the picture that they used in it. But uh, did I go to the shop? Yeah, okay. I don't even remember what was in it, I don't think it was anything good. It was like the- actually, that battery might have been good to pick up with the nail. Oh well. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that was- oh, I actually got my arcade too. Uh, well, that was <laughs> certainly worth it, at least. Uh, I'm probably not gonna use either of these, so I'm just gonna blow those up. Okay, fair enough. But, um, yeah, I think that was was all the stuff that I wanted to talk about going into this. But, uh... Uh, yeah, other than that, I'm, 
like I said, I'm hoping to get, uh, at least for a little while here, have a bit more regular content. Uh, I definitely need to go back and finish Epic Final Fantasy IV. Every time I say I'm going back to that series, I end up not. But I... Actually, right now, I'm gonna say that I really want to finish that before Christmas break is over. I'm really not that far off from finishing it, as far as I'm aware. And, um... It's just getting ridiculous at this point, because... Is this even doing... What does this do with this Azel? It's just an over right now. Okay, that's unfortunate, but, uh... That's really short range. I somewhat regret this. This is regrettable. Um, well, we'll we'll see how it does, I guess. Obviously, the damage is going to be very good, but uh, <laughs> I guess he didn't really have much range to begin with. But I don't know. I feel like having a little range with the brimstone is better than having a little range with the knife. But I don't know. That's just me. We'll see how it goes. Uh, ooh, another battery. This is nice. Though. I'm definitely get. Oh my goodness. Definitely able to uh, fill up on. And soul hearts here, so this is pretty nice. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, not go into the boss room quite yet. Just a second. <coughs> ah, been a while since I've uh, doing so much talking, so sorry about that. I was even talking about. Oh yeah, uh, Ever Battle Fantasy 4. I definitely want to finish that because he's actually started releasing some. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, I'll bite. Not bad. Okay, I already took damage, I already might not have been worth it, but, uh, that's alright. Uh, but yeah, he's been releasing, he released a bit of a, um, an art style test for Epic Battle Fantasy V. So, <clears throat> that is definitely something that A is gonna happen, which we've known for quite a while if you keep up with his, uh, his Facebook and his, uh, his blogs and stuff like that. Uh, I'll actually take that just because it actually does something at least. Or is that leash is doing me absolutely no good at the moment. Uh... But yeah, it's not only have we known that it's going to exist, it's also, at least to some degree, it's in the making. So, it's very, very exciting. But, uh, and that is of course a game that I'm going to be playing. I meant to have some coverage on, uh, Bullet Heaven 2. Um, it's been out for quite a while and I haven't gotten around to it yet. I still definitely want to, but it just isn't going to be as, um, as new as I was planning on it being when I got around to it, but, uh, you know, that's alright. Don't always have to cover brand new games. Uh, makes you small, yep. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna take the Liberty Cap. Uh, yeah, I like the, uh, the chance for the compass effect. It's pretty, pretty nice. But, uh, yeah, so that's definitely something that I, oh my goodness, that I need to finish up. Uh, there we go. Also, I just realized I think I moved around the room with the cards in it because I did want to make sure that I remember to use that, um, the, what was it, two of diamonds before I leave this floor. But of course I want to do it right before I leave. Uh, you might drop a nickel. And you did, thank you. Yeah, the shopkeepers with nickels in their eyes have a very, very high chance of dropping a, uh, a nickel when you kill them. Which is, uh, you know, always just a little another good thing to know. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but, uh, just one of the many. I think those are the the hanging shopkeepers and and uh, or the special hanging shopkeepers and stuff. I think that that greed mode unlock is what does that. But I've done a lot of a lot of research into that uh, into those achievements, those unlocks, and I have yet to find anything concise on what the um, the special shopkeepers unlocks actually do. So I think it um they make it so that like you're more likely to get or it makes it a it moved the card room again. God damn it. It, um... It makes it so that you can uh, potentially get, like, Head of the Keeper from them, but also you can get, like, Greed... You can actually summon Greed from them. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of fun stuff like that. Also, don't I have two batteries lying around? I only see one. Oh, they're both in the same room. Right, okay. Uh, alright, let's go see who our boss is. Maybe get a, uh... A devil deal? I could really, really go for some range up right about now, but, uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll risk it. Yeah. <laughs> Worth it to try, at least. Uh, oh, yes, Black Gertie. Oh, well, she didn't get a chance to do anything anyway, but, uh... Uh, Blue Cat, that is... Shuts me. Okay. She's up to faster, uh, faster charge-up time, at least. <laughs> Bit of health, I guess. That doesn't really do a whole lot for me, but... That's alright. And yeah, it's looking like boss rush is not gonna happen, but I already have boss rush, at least completed on normal mode, so. Really? Another 
D20 for the room. Okay. <coughs> At least this time it actually gave me a couple items to roll. <coughs> this was the last time where it was literally just an empty room with four fires. What do you got for me? I literally just swapped the location of those two items. <laughs> God dang it. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I'm just gonna hang out here. Nice and easy. Another battery. This game is very generous right now. This nail is, is doing me a lot of good. Is that? That's fair months. Okay, sure. Just uh, get that used up. Uh, okay, little uh, Prince of Flies. Eh, not worth it. I don't think. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll do it. Sure. Is it a gold chest? Yeah. It's worth it for a chance for like, uh, I don't know, damage up or fate's reward at least would be something. Just, you know, chance for gold chest items is uh, usually at least alright. And mostly, uh, the most the main reason I did that is that I only need one more charge on my battery and I was not going to feel like walking back here to get my battery later. So, I'll just get the charge from here. There we go. <coughs> Plus this room has some skulls in it so I can go ahead and uh, take advantage of this as well. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is definitely definitely worth worthwhile. Cut my range. Death. Sure. I want to definitely want to hold on to the fool card. Having a teleport card is always a good thing to have. Ooh. These uh, these dank dank squirts is their uh, actual enemy name, by the way. So, uh, fun fact for you. No, it's not a fact that I enjoy knowing, but it's it's a fact nonetheless. Um, okay. Nice work, you too. Yeah, because the, the normal enemies, the, the normal, uh, like, little scootily poop enemies are called, uh, squirts, and the, the ones that you find in the dank depths are the dank squirts. <sighs> Ooh. Mongo baby. Very nice. One of the, whoops, sorry, that was probably kind of loud. Uh, probably one of the, uh, one of the, definitely one of the better followers in the game, no doubt about it. Um, but yeah, now, I now play with my controller under my desk. Uh, I was just testing this before recording because it does actually... The, the controller noises are less obvious when I do it like this than how I normally do it. I normally play with, you know, with the controller like on my desk basically. But um, yeah, basically if I if I like do anything on this desk, it it comes out very very clearly on the mic. So again, I might want to look into getting a stand at some point, like a like a boom, almost like a boom mic st type stand, so that it's not on the desk, so that it's like you know, in there, like, in front of my face, like how most people do it. Um, or like how most, um, like big streamers and big, uh, YouTubers at least do that. Just so that it does not pick up, uh, desk noises as much. Uh, that's, at this point, that's looking like t it's my best solution to the problem. <laughs> but, uh, I'm still looking into it. Okay, this is going to be a, uh, a skeleton hand. Whoops. That's fine. Yep. Those are always, those are always, uh, was a fun enemy to try to fight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Black skeletons. Or black, black bonies, I mean. Eh. It's an okay trinket, but not one that I need right now. I like, uh, I like the Liberty Cap, so. Huh. Well, I was just talking about filling up my donation machine, and, um, there's a battery in, oh my god. Yeah, my donation machine's actually filled. So, I'm, just give me a minute here. I need to make sure I do this correctly. <laughs> so let's see, I'm gonna pick this up. This is the glowing hourglass. I don't know if I've shown this off yet, but um basically I'm just going to uh dump a bunch of money into this machine. It's gonna kinda sit here, okay. I'm gonna use the blue hourglass. It resets the donation machine, it resets the whole shop. This this is how you fill up your donation machine in afterbirth. <laughs> I'm actually really excited that I was able to do this, because this is something that has bothered me for the longest time that I have not been able to do, is uh, fill up my donation machine. So as you can see, the money in the machine remains, because that's like a, you know, that's a global stat, but the, whether or not the machine is broken or not, that is not, um, that does not persist. So basically what the blue hourglass does, the glowing hourglass is, it, um, when you use it, it, why do I keep getting smaller? Okay. But, um, basically what it does is it, um, it just resets the current room that you're in. It takes you out of that room and it puts you in the, the previous room and, oops, and it resets everything that you had done in that room. So as you can see, like, it resets the fact that I, it even takes the hourglass away. 
because it re <clears throat> reverts me to a point before I had bought the hourglass. But, um, yeah, basically using this, this is also how you used to fill up the greed machine really easily in greed mode, but I believe they removed it from that. They've, they've been making a lot of changes to greed mode so that it's not super easy, but they've made it reasonable at this point. I'll get to that probably next time I do a greed mode video. But, um, basically I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to time lapse this because obviously you guys don't want to just watch me do this for a while. But, uh, let it be known that this, if you ever see the glowing hourglass in a, sh in a shop and you haven't filled up your donation machine, make sure that you do this. It's going to make everything a lot easier. I'm very happy I can do this. So yeah, I will see you guys in just a moment. And there you have it, 100% filled donation machine. Now at this point, um, uh, first off, I'm actually just gonna even check what card this is. Okay, that's probably worth picking up then. Okay, I'm gonna stopwatch out of here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and blow this up so that, because if I if you put in a, one more coin in the donation machine when it's full, it drops a bunch of dimes, but it empties the donation machine. So I highly recommend you never do that. So I'm just going to. Uh, blow this up a couple times here uh that should be good and i'm just gonna go back so i have my bombs back and uh yeah that's i think that's gonna end our uh, our shenanigans there the box of friends honestly now that my health is full is kind of tempting but um i'll have to see <clears throat> and honestly the um two diamonds is, i mean technically it's worth taking but i'm not i'm not gonna bother i think well uh, I mean, I might as well. I'm just gonna buy everything in the shop, actually, and just use and get the two diamonds. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Why not? There we go. Okay. Just for fun, just in case I hadn't touched either of those items yet, or, or what have you. Take these nerds down. Another battery. Nice, nice. Uh, so, yeah, the that kind of shows that the uh, the blue stopwatch is a very, very quirky item, but it can... It certainly has its, certainly has its merits. That alone, I think, makes it makes it worth worth having in the game just that little you might call it an exploit there um it does have users because as you saw the the uh, in-game timer actually um remains or it, it actually goes back like if it, it goes back to it literally re puts the entire game into the state it was in before you entered the room that you use it in so it's it's very interesting in that regard uh oh, it's brownie okay it's fine. Easy enough. Bada boom. Give me like a cool double deal, actually. That'd be nice. Okay. It's got a double deal at least. It's gonna be crap, this isn't it? Ooh, actually not. Oh, that's true, it's a shadow. Mmm. <laughs> with health with health regen, this many badges on the floor, I might actually, yeah. Uh... Oh hey, I'm Levi Leviathan now too. I don't know if I've gotten this transformation before. It just gives you two two black hearts and the ability to fly, I believe. Uh it also makes you look uh cool and lovecrafty in as hell okay so i think i am i'm going to choose the shadow on this floor uh, don't touch me 
I think this that would be in my best interest, considering uh, how much health I have at my disposal on this floor. Uh, what's this pill? Range up. Oh, yes. Oh, even just a little bit of extra range is really appreciated right now. Okay, so I think... Actually, if I'm going to do that, I should do it well. At this point, I'm not going to be getting any more, uh, any more battery procs on this floor, I don't think. Or any more... Uh, I don't think I'm going to get enough rooms. So I'm just going to... Uh, I'll probably do it in that... Uh, this curse room here. Uh, we'll see if it's a good move. I think I think it is, because I'll get massive damage up. And uh, Oh, hey, I can even uh, put my hearts to good use here. Cool. It's a good thing I went in here first. Definitely, definitely glad I did that. Give me something. Uh, well, that's something, but it's not any sort of something that I'm looking for. Uh, Demon's Tail. That's tempting. I don't think I'm going to take it, though. Well, mm, I might. It's just I'm really not going to pay out. I'm giving you as many hearts as I physically can. And you're really going to tell me that you're not going to pay out, are you? You fuck boy. <laughs> Come on now. Actually? Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Don't come long enough. Uh, two of spades. I didn't use that. The lovers. Actually, if I use the lovers card with the demon's tail, does that work? Damn. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think so. Uh, okay, what card is this? The sun card. Okay. Uh, infested. I should have saved that in case it was a balls of steel pill. But, uh,. Couple fool cards, a sun card. Uh, let's just go ahead and die. There we go. Actually, no, it's gonna put me outside there. Yeah, I should have picked up picked up the um caffeine pill first. Uh, that's okay. Retrovision. Yeah. Uh, here's the question: Do I want to take the demon stale? Um, honestly, I think I might. I think I might. We'll see how it does for me. I've never taken it, like, when I actually know sort of what it does. Oh, what's this? Two hearts? Okay. Not helpful. Um, it... I, I, st I still, to be honest, don't know exactly what it does, but I know it, um, affects your... Yeah, I should have waited on that, uh, that battery pack. I guess I didn't have as many soul hearts as I thought I did, but I do still have soul heart regeneration, so... That's good enough for me. Uh, I think I'm pretty much set here. I'm gonna check around a bit for the... Uh, secret room, though. Uh, okay, can't be there. Also, there's a key that I completely neglected to pick up. Uh, okay, one more place I'll check, I think. Nope, can't be there. Okay. I have no idea what that thing is, then. Uh, I, I think it makes it so that you no longer have any chance to find any other kinds of hearts except black hearts. But it, um, reduces the chance of you finding hearts, and it might affect double deal. It's actually, like... It has a huge laundry list of things that it does, but, um, we'll, we'll see how it does for me. Uh, most likely I probably won't even notice it, and, uh, I'll be none the wiser as to, you know, how it affects gameplay, but, you know. I've been getting really, literally, really crappy, um, double locked rooms so far. They have all sucked horribly. Uh, Petrified Poop is not gonna help me that much at this point in the game, so I'm just gonna leave that behind. Uh, yeah, at this point, definitely it's too late for, uh... It's long too late for the boss rush, and there's definitely no way I can get the hush either. Not that this is even a build that I can... Ooh! That I can do with the hush. Uh... That's nice. I actually didn't mean to pick that up yet, but, uh... I guess I didn't have any reason to, so that's fine. Uh... My pill pool has been pretty crappy so far, although the fact that I know that there's a range up pill in the pool... Uh... That's very good to know, because I need range so badly. Uh, is that skeleton? Nope, actually not skeleton hands, okay. Okay, doing very well on consumables, but, uh, okay, yeah, Dead Cat was a pretty nice pickup. I haven't gotten any other guppy items, I don't think, so guppy is looking unlikely, but we'll see what happens. Uh, at this point, this is actually, I think, worth using just for, for orbitals, so I'm just gonna kind of dump a bunch of cash into here. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of lucky pennies. Turns out all those, also how the uh, luck up on the pennies worked. I thought it was just like a random chance of you sometimes getting um, luck up from a, from picking up any penny. But this actually, like if a penny drops, it has a chance to be a lucky penny, which will always give you luck up. So just a minor minor difference that doesn't really affect anything. But a little bit of a fun fact within how, how the old Isaac works. 
Uh, yeah, you saw that. I got a black heart, which I don't even know if you can really normally get black hearts from slot machines. I don't know if I've ever seen it at least. And the drop this troll bomb in it. God dang it. <laughs> I hate it when it does that. Alright, that's fine. I got a black heart out of it, which I immediately spent. So that's alright. And uh, got some luck up, which can certainly, certainly come in handy. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Kind of interesting room there. Okay, got my old uh, nail here. This is the room. Oops. Whoops. Oh, and I've also, I forgot, like, I noticed sometimes when I took damage I didn't hear any noise, but it's because uh, I have the nail and it changes your uh, getting hit sound. Uh, yeah, this is a room I would have preferred to use the nail in, just because it has some uh, skulls in it, but that's okay. I'll just uh, bomb them the old fashioned way, I think. Whoops. And uh, completely fail at getting the, uh, the double there. It's okay. Ooh, a judgey. Judge. I'll just drop that now, just because I really do want to keep this uh, this full card. Might have been worth keeping for the um, for a devil room, though. But, uh, oh well. Okay, drop the card. Give me something nice. Luck up. Eh. It's helpful, at least. Another full card. Cool, cool. Uh, that means I'm going to get a, uh, a challenge room or a curse room for free on this floor. Another pill. Wizard pill. Does not affect me at all. The, if you pick up the dunce cap with the knife, it does give you the, the double knife, I believe. But for some reason, the wizard pill does not stack in the same way as that the... Ooh. Diploplia, you say? Hmm. <laughs> Intriguing. In that case, I'm actually going to wait to pick up anything in this room, because this is... I could double this to four soul heart net gain from this room. But, um... Actually, yeah, I'm, I just remembered I have a full card, so yeah, I'm definitely going to... I'm going to pick... No, no, I shouldn't pick it up yet. I'm going to pick that up before I do the boss, so that I can potentially double um, my devil room item if I get the devil deal, which I really hope I do. But, uh, now that I think of it, it's m almost guaranteed to be Krampus at this point. But, you know, it's it certainly is worth taking with me, just in case I get the very rare uh, not Krampus at this point. Uh, slap a bomb in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna give me, actually, since my nail will be in there, actually, it should, um, potentially even give me an extra soul heart than that. Oh, okay, that was dangerous. If that teleported me to the boss room, whoops, I would've been pretty sad. But depending, that was nice of it. Okay, that other pill, I'm sure, at this point, I feel like I must have exhausted all the new pills, or well, maybe not, actually. Speed up, oh my god, I've needed speed, like, this entire run. That is very appreciated. Oh, okay, easy enough room. Boop, boop, boop. My nose itches. Oh, crap. Okay. You know, I just actually completely forgot that I didn't even have my treasure room yet, so this could be potentially another thing that will be worth uh, diplopying. Um, it is not. <laughs> That's, that much is for sure. I'll go ahead and uh, use it here, though, for fun. For funsies. No, okay. Oops, give me that. I want that trash. <laughs> I really haven't gotten any good treasure rooms this entire run except for the knife. But the knife is, you know, pretty, pretty good, so. I'm, I'm pretty alright with that. This one I don't get like explosive. No, it's very much okay. Oh, I just saw that X rock there. Uh, good chance for a super secret. Mm, interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm probably not gonna bother looking for it then. <clears throat> what you got? Eh. Not really worth it. Uh, okay, so I need to pick up Diplopia. I'm just gonna blow that up. There's like one heart on the floor, but I don't really care that much. And more luck up. Okay. So, yeah, pick up Diplopia. Uh, make sure I remember to pick up that Fool's card also after I fool out of the um, boss room. Pick this up now. I'm probably gonna end up using it in that room just for all the soul hearts, because I doubt I'm gonna get anything good here. But, uh, we'll see. Uh, technically I could use that to get both the polar and the negative, couldn't I? I don't know if that works that way. Uh, even if it did, I don't think it would be worth it. And, it's not Krampus, look at that. Ceremony robes, that is double damage, or that, or not double damage, but that is a damage up actually, so. And that's also, you know, three soul hearts, so this is just gonna fill me up completely on black hearts, isn't it? Yes. Alright, cool. Uh, of course I'm still gonna fool out of there, so I can pick up my, um, this room having it again? Alright, garbage. 
Uh, yeah, no, that's worth taking. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking, it's looking pretty alright. Has damage? Oh, of course, it's gonna be maxed out. Of course. Uh, things are looking up. Full, full rack of black hearts. Uh, nine lives. Not too shabby. If I pick up a guppy's paw, that'll be uh, that'll be pretty good. Uh, I might as well check. Oh, man, it was a makes you small pill. Cool. Unfortunately, I think all those makes you small pills were reset with the uh, with me using the liberty to cap, but uh, that's all right. Not uh, not a big loss there. I'll check like this place for the super secret or for the secret room, but like up here, but I don't care that much. Oh, it actually was here. Interesting. I love quarters. Doesn't do me any good though. <laughs> Take it anyway. And uh, all right, ready to go. This has been a very productive run. I've been getting a lot of a lot of achievements and a lot of unlocks here. It's very exciting. Very exciting for me to have such a productive uh, first run back after a couple weeks without having recorded any, anything in Rebirth or Afterbirth. Excuse me. Very very nice to have such a good run. Always always good. So yeah, I need to. Oh my shit! I picked up a, I picked up the Polaroid. Wait. Wait, I also just realized I Judas is shadowed, so I'm actually not even to say this anymore anyway. Okay. Uh, well, knowing that is actually a good thing that I picked up the Polaroid. Okay. So, as far as character unlocks, I'm not going to be getting much on this run, actually. But, uh, that's okay. Yeah, minor, minor mistake on my end there, but it was... It was two mistakes that, because I made both of them, it actually turned out better than if I had just made one mistake. So, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Also, yeah, sorry for the loud noise again. I did hit, uh... Hit the, hit the desk with my controller in, uh, in anguish. What is this, two hearts? God dang it. Hope for a joker card. Uh, any X-Rax? I don't see any. But, um, yeah, because I, because I Judas is shadowed, I am now Judas. And because of that, it was actually good that I picked up the pull word, because it means I'll at least get one hard mode unlock. Uh, and also if I get lucky and get dad's key, I could, I could potentially do that as well. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm this, these are always worth it as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's exactly why you're almost guaranteed to get at least one item out of four gold chests in this room. Uh, not, you're not, of course, by all, by any means guaranteed to get one, but your chances are pretty damn good. Considering there's four of them. Uh, so this is this is a challenge room that I'd say is almost always worth doing. Uh, this and like the triple black chest uh, challenge rooms are two that I will pretty much always do. This one is dependent on whether or not I have keys, but in general. So wasn't that an infested pill? I feel like I should just use that. Yeah. Just get a couple spiders out of it for fun. But, um, yeah, I didn't... I completely forgot about the whole, uh, Judas's Shadow changes your, uh, changes your character and therefore changes your unlocks thing, but that's okay. This is not, uh, not too tricky to play, as he's, as he saw. Uh, granted, the the nail has been doing me a lot of good, but even though I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. I'm not concerned at all. Okay. Uh, what do we get? Oh yeah, goat head. So at least for the next two floors, I'll be guaranteed guaranteed my devil deal. Uh, but that does also mean that uh, I still need the chest. Yeah, okay. So I'll still go up. I'll still go up. For a second, I was thinking this run was just going to be shorter because I was just going to go down just to get some these days little locks. But no, it actually will be worth going to the chest, so that means I might potentially be able to have some fun there. Uh, it does make me almost regret not saving Diplopia, but it, um, it pretty much solidified my health situation, and, uh, yeah, the nail is, is also, yeah, the, using, <clears throat> using Diplopia and then taking the nail is, has pretty much guaranteed my, my health is going to be in a good place for the rest of the, the game, as long as I don't, you know, balls it all up, of course. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, I do, however, regret not taking the, the, um, Liberty Cap right about now, because, uh, it would certainly expedite the, uh, uh, the floor clearing process, because this is looking to be a full clear at this rate, or just about at least, but, uh, that's alright. Monkey paw, no thanks. Alright, there we go. Not quite a full clear, but, oh, hey. It's gonna have something nice in it. I have some, some extra, uh, bombs, some extra hearts, so I might attempt the black market glitch as well, because I... Would always enjoy sh being able to show that off. Ooh, spider bite with um with all this luck up, I feel it could be pretty pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna try this because uh, 
I've only successfully done this once, and it was pre-afterbirth, and I think that changes some things. So I'm just going to keep kind of going up and down here to make sure those bombs both drop into place. Uh, I'll explain what I'm doing if it works. Uh, I think f it works with flight, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to go down here. And I think... Yes, it worked. Okay. Alright, so... <laughs> a lot going on in this episode. So what that is, is basically if you drop two bombs right next to each other, and um, you're going to want to make sure you drop it, go up, drop the other one, go up, and just go up and down a couple times just to make sure that they don't blow up prematurely. But um, if you do that, you get them both lined up right at the bottom. You rush down and stay, stay on the left, and then you let go of your controls once you hit the bottom. So once you're touching the ground, just don't press any buttons. Wait for the bombs to blow up. And by leaving and entering, also it resets the bombs so that they explode at the same exact time. And the force of the double explosion is enough to launch you through the wall. And this is a way to get a black market every single time. So. <laughs> oh my god, there's a reroll machine in here. <laughs> Interesting. And, uh. So yeah, basically, as long as you have two bombs and enough health to live through it, and it, that's pretty much it, actually. If you get a crawl space, you can always get a black market deal. Uh, it works if you're too sl If you're, like, even if you're super slow, you usually still will be able to do it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this is interesting, because it actually gave me a reroll machine. I don't think any of these items are really worth taking. Spider Mod's cool, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll all these guys, I think. God, it just gave me restock. Car battery. Chaos. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't know if restock's necessarily worth taking, because I do only have so many soul hearts. But I do also have nine lives. So potentially this means I could just get a whole bunch of items here. At this point, I don't really have much to gain by finishing this run, so I think I'm just going to go completely apeshit. <laughs> I'm just gonna go, just gonna go mad here, I think. I'm gonna take the car battery. Uh, oh, restock doesn't work here. Oh, dang it. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, that's fine. Uh, car battery, however, with this is, um, in itself is going to be a very good thing for me, though. Um, do I want chaos? At this point, I don't think chaos would really do much for me. So I'm just gonna roll the rest of these. It resets every... I hadn't considered that. It resets everything. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. I think I might take... The, uh, I don't know if any of this stuff is really worth taking, to be honest. I don't have any good cards to use with a uh, blank card, although just picking it up might be worthwhile. Just in case I get... Uh, uh, I guess there isn't really much that, that could... that could Not much good that could have done me. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. Um... This, I think, is going to give me a black card, so I'm not going to want to pick that up yet. I am going to take the champion's belt, though, and I'm going to take this and just die with it. Oh, shit, I have to do the glitch again. Oh, I don't have enough health to do the glitch. Oh, crap. <laughs> I made a mistake. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, I made a mistake there. I should have actually picked up the uh, black handle. Yeah, I'm not going to get enough uh, enough room clears either to get another uh, another usage of this. Well, that's that's a shame. <laughs> That's a damn shame. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to get a guaranteed double deal, so hopefully between this floor and the next floor, I'll be able to get rid of this red heart. Because, uh, I'd like to be able to get back to a point where I can get my, uh, Polaroid proc. Oh, tears up. Okay. I'm really surprised we're still seeing new pills, to be honest. Uh, okay. Yeah, I figured, I figured I'd have some, have some fun here. Restock turns out to be a dead pickup, but that's okay. Uh, White Pony, of course, I don't really want that at all, but I'll pick it up. There's Krampus. Alright. Okay, cool. Uh, knife, I think. Or, Lumber Cold Knife. Nah, it doesn't actually do anything, does it? Now that I think of it, dang it. That's fine. I didn't want Krampus' head, so. Well, actually, you know, with, um. With the car battery, I, Krampus' head might actually have been worth picking up. But, uh. That's okay. Unfortunately, we couldn't have as much fun on the last, last floor as I had hoped for, but. That's alright. Uh. Yeah, I'm just going to start picking up soul hearts. I don't imagine I'm going to find any way to get rid of half a heart anytime soon. So, what was this other card? Did I press or something? Alright. Don't really want it. Uh, this is always worth checking. Uh, sure. Bomb chests always give me some good luck. Ooh, got Steven out of it. Even with... Didn't I pick up Chaos? 
didn't pick up gas, did I? Okay. Fair enough. That was, yeah, it was definitely, definitely worth, uh, worth doing this room then. More damage is, oh, whoops. It's always good. <laughs> if I lose this run at this point, it's, I'll be a little disappointed, but, again, I've really had virtually nothing to gain from, from, uh, bringing this run to fruition, so. It's, that's not a problem at all. I've already gotten, like, five or six unlocks in this run, so. I can't complain at all. This has been a, been a very good run for me. Oop. Oh dear. Oh my god, I got another crawl space? Really? Really? Fascinating. This room also is, uh... This is pretty brutal. Not gonna lie. Um... Okay, clearly I need some sort of plan of attack here, because just rushing in and killing everything right away isn't doing it for me. Okay, there we go. It's just when there's too many hosts at once, I just kind of freeze up and I'm not really sure how to dodge around them, because, uh... My dodging skills still leave a lot to be desired. Ooh. Okay. Not too shabby. Please give me an actual black market. Oh, thank you. I didn't want to have to do that stupid glitch again. Just to be able to get, uh... Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, no restock machine. That's more than okay. Uh, do I make machine's already full? Oh, I can get a battery? More options is not going to do me any good at this point. Uh, black candle is almost certainly worth picking up, though. Um... I don't think the battery is honestly worth it at this point. I'm just gonna take the black handle. That's fine with me. Uh, weird. Okay. For some reason, the black market actually does not seem to update when you. Interesting. I thought it was supposed to do that. Do I have any reason to finish this floor? Yeah, I guess for the double deal chance. Okay. I like. Uh, well, actually, I mean, I already got rid of my red heart. You know what? Nah, I'm just gonna go. Wait. No, no, never mind. <laughs> can't make up my mind. I forgot. I need to go up. I can't go down. Okay. There we go. That, that, that finally settles that. Oh, this has been such a fun run. I might do another one after this, to be honest. Maybe try to do a challenge or something, because I do want to make sure I, um, I interlace uh, challenge runs into the uh, the the regular regular gameplay here. Oh. oh sorry about that. Uh, uh, hopefully then, uh, I don't get too many more too many more messages. I don't want to have to mute it right now, but... Uh, Run's getting pretty close to being done here. At this point, I have, I have enough health, and I have, yeah, basically a soul heart every three rooms, or at least the equivalent of it, so I can really just start rushing through here. It doesn't matter a whole lot. I should start bombing through rooms also. certainly have enough bombs for it. Oop. Oh, wait, this is the way to go. I don't care. Boop, boop. Okay, should hopefully be up here then. Well, actually, this kind of loops around, which is really odd for a, for a regular floor, so... Really could, yeah, I was about to say, really could be anywhere at this point. Uh, mm, actually, there's three of the same kind of pill. Telepills. Uh, eh. Normally I would dick around and try to use all those to try to get an error room or something, but... I'm just gonna go. I think. Um, Alright, come on, come on. Yeah, as much as I don't have a whole lot to gain from this run, I do still want to, uh, do want to go to the chest, so... Oops. Gonna do this. Yeah, it's it's gonna be pretty hard to not keep my uh, my heart situation at a point where it's it's um it's relatively safe. So also, I, oh, I forgot I have the compass. <laughs> I forgot I bought that in the black market. But, uh, oh, oh dear. It certainly is uh it's gonna help me out a lot too. I always forget things like that. I don't know why. I just have a really bad memory in general. You know, for things that literally just happened. Uh, I'll just take that now. giving me so many batteries in this run. It figures it gives me all the batteries on the run that I have, you know, the soul heart regenerating item. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty nice there. Alright, it lives. You're, you're going down. Yeah, you don't, you don't stand a chance. I have too many damage ups. And what's in here? Uh, not worth it. I don't really remember what it does exactly, but I don't really care either. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and wrap this up. This has probably gone on longer than it needs to. Is the boss re The boss is really right over here. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Let's see if there's any, uh, any nice shortcuts here, though. Oh, I guess it, it couldn't be really there. I don't know why I even tried that. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I'll check the curse room for fun, sure. I do have a piece of guppy already, so... Could potentially be worth it. Uh, I don't... 
know what that does with this, but I don't really want to find out. It's probably just gonna make us that like while I'm charging it up, it teleports me or something. It'll probably be dumb. I don't really want it. I don't really want to go for it. I'm all for cursed eye most of the time, but this is not a time I think that uh, cursed eye is really viable. <coughs> oh god! Oh, it's tiny. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, I don't like it. Please die. Thank you. <laughs> that was terrifying. I did not did not much care for that. Boop. Got so much money. Completely empty room. Cool. I love it. Let's see, how fast can I kill Isaac? Let's find out. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, mm-hmm. I just, like, zero-cycled him. <laughs> he didn't even get to do a stupid beam attack. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Alright, what do you got for me? Dad's key? Polyphemum. Magic mushroom? Oh my god. I can't even imagine what my damage is like. That also might be Lord of the Flies. No, not quite, okay. I can't even imagine what my damage is like right now. Oh my god. The thing just instantly explodes. Wait, where am I? Oh shit, the magic mushroom gave me a red heart. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn. That might have potentially been some degree of mistake. That's okay though. Magic mushroom's damage multiplier is too good at this point. And also, this room is really obnoxious. What the hell kind of room is this? We won't get any rooms to take this long. Fantastic. What do you got? D oh my god. I'm not gonna try. No. No, I can't do it. I could go for a breaking run. It's just. I literally kill things with like a single stab with this knife. This is insane. Look at this. Boop. A single poke is all it takes. Just the tip. That's the brown bean. That's no good. Boop. This is actually ridiculous. No. Trying to, trying to seduce me with, with stupid items. That's going to be Lord of the Flies. There we go. Or Beelzebub, sorry. Poke. Poke. This is one of the most ridiculous runs I've ever had. Like, both in terms of, of unlocks, considering how long, how late in the game I technically am, and just, like, this is probably the most damage I've ever done at one time. Hmm. Could potentially... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if going for... Uh, I don't have, like, sharp plug or anything, so I can't really go for the for meat board or anything like that, or bandage girl. I still have to do that. Poke. Poke, poke, poke. Alright, there we go. Alright. <laughs> Whew, what a run that was. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also check the description for a link to our Twitch.tv channel, where hopefully, at least for the next couple weeks, I will be live streaming on and off. And, uh, yeah, expect regular content for at least the next couple weeks or so while I'm on Christmas break. But, um, yeah. Tune in next time for episode 89, where I'll probably be doing a challenge. Not sure which one yet, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.